Gavaskar and welcome to Dubai. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always a pleasure being here. Uh, how long have you been knowing Mr. Sham Bhatia? Oh, I think uh, over 30 years uh, now. Uh, known him as a cricket lover. Uh, and uh, well, he played a bit of cricket during his time. But now, uh, obviously, uh, having come to Dubai, uh, he's kept his interest in the game. Uh, and uh, the passion for the game can be seen in, in what he has, uh, you know, um, got over here. Tell us something about your uh, comments on the on the on the cricket museum. Amazing! This is uh, you know a labor of love. Uh, he's worked very very hard at it at collecting all the various uh, mementos uh, from players. Mind you, players are not very. Uh, uh, it's not easy to get uh, mementos from the players because they want to be sure that uh, what what is very dear to them, be it a shirt or a trouser or a bat or uh, a photo, uh, they want to be uh, sure that it's going to be preserved well. And uh, so I think uh, to collect the kind of, you know, mementos that he has from various players all over the world uh, uh, shows a perseverance um, and then an, an ability, uh, you know, to um, get the trust of the uh, cricketers that uh, they, these, these items will be well uh, preserved. And uh, that's what we see here. This is quite, quite amazing, really awesome, this uh, gallery. And now we have a new definition for Indian cricket because they won the World Cup. Uh, what are your comments on that? Of course, the entire country is cheering and celebrating and even UAE, we had huge celebrations. And so we'd like to know your comments on that. Oh, terrific. I think it was an absolutely amazing win. Uh, uh, they fully deserved it because uh, they went uh, through, uh, you know, tough matches. I don't think uh, they really had anything um, uh, as uh, like an easy win right from, uh, you know, the first match uh, they were, they had to work hard for their win. And I think that is what stood them in good stead when it came to the finals because the finals also was uh, where you had to score more than five and a half runs and over. And that's never easy to do in a, in a knockout stage and uh, not just the finals but even in a knockout stage. But uh, I think the fact that they had uh, these you know, tough matches at the start of the tournament helped them. Did you also have a nostalgic uh, moment when they were at the winning stage because years before you would have also been in the dressing room and you could also know the empathy of the players in the dressing room? Well, I mean, we were in the field at that time when the last wicket uh, was uh, taken. Uh, so, uh, uh, we were not quite in the dressing room, but the scenes in the dressing room would have been pretty much similar uh, to uh, what uh, we had in that 1983. I mean, there, there, were, there were obviously a lot more people in the uh, dressing room at Lord's because security was not an issue as it is uh, now. Now, I think, you know, there were only very few people there, you know, with the right... Uh, accreditation who could only get into the dressing room because of security issues so uh, i guess probably less people in the dressing room but uh, more people outside uh, to celebrate and uh, uh, it must have been uh, you know awesome just an awesome feeling it takes a while actually to for it to sink in that you've been you're the world champions so it's not just a day or two sometimes it takes you a week a month before you start, suddenly you know have time to sit down and reflect and say, hey, I mean, we are the world champions. It doesn't happen immediately, but it takes you a little time. Uh, and we have uh, Sham Bhatia's Cricket for Care, you know, helping people who cannot afford the game of cricket, helping nations uh, to build up people who have interest in the game of cricket. What have you got to say on that? I think it's a terrific initiative. Um, it's, it again shows uh, the love he has for the game. He's, he's an Indian, but he's uh, got the game of cricket at heart. So he's quite... Um, happy to go around uh, and uh, you know whatever uh, he gets from the sale of uh, his book it's not even a sale it is you know uh, the portraits of the game is offered to corporates uh, and whatever they give uh, as a donation is then utilized plus of course sham dips into his own pocket uh, to um, uh, make sure that you know countries which cannot afford kit um, they are they are given the kit and so cricket is encouraged in in um, you know all parts of the world not just in the test playing countries I think that's a fantastic initiative. Uh, one last question. It took 28 years for the World Cup to reach India. And what have you got to say? Why did it take such a long time? I think we, we came close a couple of times uh, and we didn't uh, have uh, perhaps the experience or maybe even the hunger, the big hunger and the desire uh, because you need to have that. Uh, sometimes you need uh, luck, plenty of luck. So all these factors were probably uh, ones that uh, denied us um, but hopefully the next one is not 28 years away. That's all I'm hoping that the next one is not, uh, you know, seven World Cups away and that it comes uh, sooner than uh, this one has come after 83.